By the end of summer last season, my wood stove was looking pretty bad. It was getting really rusty for some reason, but I couldn't figure out why. I wanted to do something to restore it to its former state and maybe figure out why it had gotten so rusty in so short a time. I made it a late season project and with a little elbow grease, I was able to transform the stove back to close to what it had been when I got it about five years ago. Although my tiny house has a passive solar design and in the winter, if it's sunny, gets a lot of its heat from the sun, it has a backup. Winters in northeastern Missouri can be cold and cloudy, so my wood stove is essential in maintaining a comfortable temperature all winter long. Between the sun and the wood stove, my house can be heated without the use of fossil fuel, which is more than can be said for home heating in most of the country. Most homes in the U.S. are huge and rely heavily on oil, gas, or electricity produced by coal for their heating needs. This has a huge impact on climate change. I've been heating myself the easy way the last few winters by heading south to Florida, but I still rent out my house and my tenants need to keep warm too. When I got back to my house in spring last year, for some reason there was a spot of floor near the wood stove that was dark with moisture. As the season went on, I noticed that this spot was actually condensing water into droplets. I thought this was odd because I'd never noticed that part of the floor doing that before, and that although my house can get humid in the hot and humid parts of summer, I'd never had moisture condense on the floor before and it only seemed to be happening under the wood stove. What could be different about that area of floor from past years? So at some point I decided to move everything out of the way and give the floor a good hand mopping. Mysteriously, after thoroughly cleaning the floor, the moisture stopped building there, so I guessed that while I was renting the house over the winter, there had been a spill of some sort. Maybe the spill had left some residue that was acting as a catalyst for condensation. The stove is good for cooking on as well as heating the house, that's what the plate on top is for. But although the floor wasn't condensing moisture anymore, the stove was rusting a lot. By the end of the season it looked about 20 years old, and as I said, I've never noticed this kind of moisture problem before, and I'd never seen my stove rust like this before. If you have any suggestions as to what might have caused the stove to suddenly start rusting like crazy, leave them in the comments section. The AC unit does blow into the house right by the stove, and I use that from time to time in the summer, but that wouldn't explain the lack of similar rust in past years. Anyway, I was able to find some cast iron stove polish and did this makeover, and I'm really pleased with the results.
With a little elbow grease and a good layer of polish, everything seemed to turn out great. And we'll have to see if I have the same rusting problem in future years after applying the polish. I could see needing to do this makeover every few years if the rusting persists, but I hope not. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a patron and pitching in a little every time I post a video or on a monthly basis. If a significant percentage of viewers pitch in a little every month, you can keep this content going and improving. Happy winter, everyone.